resources that we have, particularly solid minerals and informal clusters uh, that we have, as well as the existing infrastructure, rail, inland port that we have, and the intercity road network. Uh, medium term, five to ten years, we, are, we also have uh, goals that we hope those that succeed us will continue, as well as the long term, uh, over ten years. Uh, these planned actions uh, are summarized uh, on this slide. Essentially, what we are focused on is to capitalize on what we have now, resolve critical impediments like electricity and security, and start making production more sustainable, as well as synergy between educational institutions and industry, and build for the future. Uh, the medium-term and long-term goals are also there. So what does this all mean? What, it, what we are focused on, as I repeatedly say, is jobs. We have a young population, we must have jobs or job opportunities for them. The, this slide shows the employment uh, scenario, um, the population growth, as well as uh, new jobs that we hope to create uh, between now and 2050, uh, particularly in the industrial sector. The next slide shows how our GDP is expected to grow. Kaduna State has been growing at 7 to 8% per annum since we came into office. Even during the recession, the national recession, Kaduna State was growing, and we hope that will continue uh, in the medium and long term. So what are the flagship projects for the industrialization plan? We have a few. The first is the green economic zone. This is an economic zone that will be completely powered by renewable energy, solar power and other forms of renewable energy. We have the green agro-allied industrial zone, which is uh, between, uh, you know, at uh, Mararaban Jaws. We are, we are working on developing the Kaduna Knowledge City. We are trying to revive our industrial estates in Kakuri, Kudenda, Zari and Kafanchan and we are establishing a new industrial estate at the Sobat and Kande layout and the Green City project. These are the main components of the plan and uh, we hope after its unveiling today, more details will be made available for comments and feedback from our stakeholders. Um, so I will end my address by appealing to all of you to continue to have faith in Kaduna and invest more in Kaduna. Um, as you know, Ethiopian Airlines flies here. Uh, we appeal to everyone to use Ethiopian Airlines more so that um, the challenges that they are facing of uh, filling their aircraft anytime they fly into Kaduna will be mitigated. President Kikwete planned to fly into Kaduna, but because of uh, uh, low patronage, they took him to Abuja and he had to drive here. Uh, so we hope that this will get better with time. But why should you invest in Kaduna? Why in Kaduna State? There are four reasons. We have an experienced and educated workforce and we're improving our infrastructure. We have abundant natural resources. We have a large consumer market, the third largest in Nigeria. 80%, uh, over 80% of the population is below the age of 35. So we offer a large pool of labor resources. Uh, we also have a very investor-friendly environment. We, as, as the Kadipa Executive Secretary pointed out, we are ranked number one in ease of doing business in Nigeria. And Kaduna is the transportation hub of Nigeria. Um, it is the gateway to the 19 northern states. And hardly can you reach any of the northern states without having to pass through Kaduna. And there are some key sectors where we have comparative advantage. Agriculture, uh, tourism, uh, mining, transport and logistics, manufacturing, construction, health, services and ICT, education. You, you choose and the opportunities are there. On this note, I welcome you all to Kaduna Investment Summit uh, and hope you join us as we seek to make Kaduna great again. Thank you and God bless you. We can do more of that. Another big round of applause for His Excellency, Madam Nasser Arafai.
One of the things that we have going for us in Kaduna State is to have a governor like Malam Nasu Erufai. He has this aura of uh, drawing people from all over the world. Friend. Well, that was the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasser Ahmed El Rufai, unveiling the card Invest 3.0 with the theme Partnership for Development. He took us through a presentation where he outlined some of the strides the states has made from the time it uh, um, commenced this uh, investment promotion drive, how the state uh, investment in the state has grown, both foreign and domestic. It's tried to paint a picture for the world indeed, and almost all Nigerians to see as regards the potentials of Kaduna State. And it's really been a ride, a very good, um, very uh, impressive, progressive drive for the state. You're welcome to what is a very a ritual right now, the third in the series of the Kaduna investment drive. Remember the theme for this year's program is partnerships for development. Uh, as the Royal Highness, the Emir of Lagos, who has been represented here by, by uh, Chief Shashori, the Aishwenu of Lagos. Thank you also for being part of it this morning. We also want to thank you all for uh, finding time to be here with us. Uh, could I also recognize the presence of uh, Ibrahim Deko, the MD Backbone uh, Community Network here with us this morning. Thank you for being part of it all. Ibrahim Balu, uh, COO, ANG Petro Energy, we thank you for being part of it all. We also want to recognize with us Idris Ortman, the MD SPDC. Thank you for being part of it with us this morning. And also to recognize the Executive Secretary, Asan Bello, Executive Secretary, Nigeria Shippers Council. Thank you for being part of it all this morning. Sherad Gupta, the Senior VP Olam. We appreciate your presence here this morning. And then Mansur Ahmed, uh, representing Dangote Conglomerate here with us this morning. Thank you for being part of it all. And uh, we also Bank. have to recognize MD Sterling Bank. MD Sterling Bank. Abu Bakr Suleiman. Abu Bakr Suleiman. Thank you for being part of it all with us this morning. Michael Cooper, VP uh, Hilton. Thank you for being part of it. Well, we are still recognizing some of the distinguished personalities that are here. We have traditional rulers, we have international partners, we have officials of the state government and potential investors here in